Good morning. How are you? Fine. Okay. Can I have your resume? Yes. Your name? I mean, so can you speak a little bit loud? Yes. Okay. Where are you from? I come from Anandapur, Bangladesh. Okay. So tell me about yourself. Myself, Naveen Kumar. I am coming from Anandapur, Bangladesh. I completed my MCA in Vikram Samapur University in Nello. Then 80% is uh, uh, CGPA. Uh, then uh, my strength are uh, we are a team worker. Uh, then uh, hard worker and self motivator. Then my hobbies are uh, uh, reading books, play, playing chess. Uh, then writing a mini novels. Uh, something, something like books, books man. Okay. Then you will write novels. Yes, sir. Mm. Some stories. Mm. Okay. Uh, then what kind of stories you will write? Uh, emotionally, uh, self motivating videos. Self -motivating. Mm. Writing self motivating mm. okay. stories. Okay. You said that uh, what is the meaning of hard working? Uh, hard working is uh, depend upon uh, physically or on uh, man will power. Uh, it is used in connected to brain. Uh, whatever it thinking but then whatever say. Okay. Uh, you are saying that you are a self motivator. Yes, right. So what is the meaning of self motivator? The self motivator is a uh, inner uh, to inner feeling to build the uh, emotionally strong. Mm -hmm. This is the most important in self motivation. Okay. So you have done NCC and NSS. Yes, Did you do any camps in NCC? I have done in the IGC and DC in 2019 batch. Uh, then NSS uh, and, uh, I participated in Red Class contingent in Vijayawara on the year of 2020. What you have learned when you are doing NCC or NSS? This yes, one, uh, it is a motto of NCC is a, uh, unity and discipline. Mm -hmm. Unity is the main purpose of NCC. Uh, it, it's uh, maybe uh, uh, it's uh, some work do done with uh, others uh, to equal uh, to, um, what kind of work it's uh, to done the equal to each other. Okay. Support to each other. Uh, then unity, unity is the main purpose. Of main purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so your another hobby is uh, reading books. Mm -hmm. What kind of books you will read? I read uh, very novels in uh, um, something like uh, 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 biographies. Uh, Ambedkar. Uh, then. Abdul Kalam, Naat Marata in Telugu. This is the my inspiration book. Uh, they written as Pattagram writer. Right? He is a well known writer. That, uh, he is my inspiration. Okay, he is your inspiration. So, what do you have inspired from him? Uh, your writing skills, man. It is uh, easy uh, to me main purpose is to uh, declare the particular person life it's truly and honestly okay. So. okay that's fine so do you know SQL? Yes, I think in your skills also you have mentioned Oracle right? Yes, yes, yes. so rate yourself out of 5 in SQL? about 4 5 4 Okay, four point five yes. out of four. Yes. Okay, that's fine. So, what is Cooley's function? Cooley's function is a uh, one of the uh, oracle function. Mm -hmm. uh, it is take uh, more than two expressions. Uh, then it will read first non not null function only. Okay, first not null function. Yes. That's it? That's it. Okay. What is the difference between Cooley's function and NVL function? No, Cooley's function, oh, sorry, NVL is the mm -hmm. uh, one of the function in SQL. Then it takes only two expressions. Uh, if you check it first expression, mm -hmm. uh, 
if your first expression is not null, you can display the first expression. If your first expression is null, you can mm -hmm. read the second expression. Then if the come, come to the queries. Queries is a take more than two expressions. Mm -hmm. uh, more than two expressions. More than two expressions. Uh, NVL function contains yes. only two expressions. Mm -hmm. More than two, two expressions. It can read only first non not null function. First not null function. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not null expression. Expression. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. What is list function? The, the list is a function mm -hmm. in SQL. Uh, it is used to uh, list values, I mean list data in the uh, table mm -hmm. or database. Okay. So it will be applied on bulk of data. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or a single value. Yes. Single value or a group of or values? Group of data. Group of group data. Of data. Yes. Okay. So what is roll up and cube clause in Oracle? Um, roll up roll up is a subclass of group by class. Mm -hmm. It uh, it calculates the uh, sub subtotal or grand total in the database. Okay. So then cube is, cube is similar to the uh, roll roll mm -hmm. roll up. It's uh, uh, calculate the uh, mm -hmm. sub uh, subtotal and grand total the whole columns. Okay. So what is the grouping ID function in Oracle? Uh, the grouping ID function is a, a some grouping. Uh, it's a group of columns. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, converts the um, it's converts the okay. What is row ID in pseudo columns? So uh, row ID is the uh, particular uh, particular identify identify the row. Mm. Uh, it is used to the user mm. mostly. It can use it to easy to identify the data okay. or, or easy to take the required data required data yes, mm. okay so what fast, is uh, uh, yeah tell me fastly or uh, quickly to identify or modify okay what is the row num in uh, pseudo columns uh, row number is the one of the pseudo column uh, it is the mention the uh, row columns i mean uh, row First row is the first number, second row is the second number, third row is the third number. Yeah. Uh, it, it is the way of from first to last. Uh, the, the row ID, uh, row ID is the particularly identified the given person or the given order, given data. Okay. Uh, what is uh, check constraint? Check constraint in Oracle. The check constraint is used to the uh, limit the value range. Okay. okay. Then it's uh, placed on um, columns. That's it. Yes, so uh, check constraint can be applied on table level or column level. Column level. It is not applied on table level. Yes, so it is in column is included at the table, so uh, it is uh, in, uh, what the Table level. Okay. Can we apply check constraint for multiple columns at a time? Is it possible to apply check constraint for multiple columns? Can you give any example uh, where we can apply? For suppose you are taking one table, employee table. Like employee table can contain employee name, salary, uh, some manager, okay, some department number. So you need to apply check constraint. So what is the condition you can give there for a particular column? How you can give the condition? This is the check constraint is on which columns you can apply check constraint. Okay. Any rows. Any columns. You can apply it. Any columns. You can apply check constraint for any number of columns. Okay. How you can apply it? When we are using check constraint, can we use uh, other constraints also? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so what really constraints we can use when we are using check constraint? I am not confusing you. I am directly asking you. When we are using check constraint, 
is there any possible to use other constraints also yes yes ma'am hmm. it is used to other constraints uh, what are those constraints then no idea na okay what is order by clause order by clause it is used to the data prepared data ascending order or descending order hmm. to its uh, data is ascending order it's convert to descending order uh, it's uh, descending order it's convert to ascending order okay ascending order and descending, descending order, order. Uh, if you want to uh, print the data ascending order or descending order in a particular column then what you have to mention in the query do you have idea you can write down otherwise uh, do you have any idea for suppose i want to print the name in only ascending order okay uh, i want to print the only uh, salary in descending order so like that uh, on particular column if you want to if you are taking two or three columns at a time so on first column or second column how you can write down the query so you just select a star from uh, employee mm. uh, then group by or order by uh, then it is used and where class then it uh, mention the ascending order or descending order some particular columns okay i will ask you some uh, queries okay uh, write down the queries on the board okay my first query is to sort rows based on name wise ascending order write down the query for that as well This is the correct one. Okay. Uh, Ascending order one na, but you are not mentioning any columns, right? Okay, sorry. Uh, if you are mentioning the columns, then you yes, okay. <laughs> then you have to mention first column or second, second column or third one. column. But star means it indicates that all the columns. Okay. Now my second query is okay. Uh, department wise total salaries where department number is equal to ten and twenty. Okay, ten okay. twenty departments are there. Yes, okay, sir. based on that departments, you need to retrieve the total salaries. Okay, okay write down the correct part. Okay, display employee who are joined on Wednesday. Okay, display employee 
okay, who are joined on Wednesday yes, by using two care functions.